Everything had long ago taken on a different color, a different hue, and we adapted to that. Collectively, we adapted quite well, as it turned out. But we always had as far back as our species had existed. Resilience was our gift, along with logic and intelligence, though the latter we had squandered and were now paying the price. We were warned but paid no heed, living spaces maxed out in population growth, but the infrastructure struggled to keep up and the result was an ever-expanding gridlock eating up our valuable time in this world. We erected massive structures, tall structures across the landscape, removing innumerable vegetation and trees in the process. The ensuing heat became unbearable, which left the air barely breathable. So we had no choice but to adapt or perish. Many perished while others survived. One couldn't recognize places anymore as everything became transformed we had to readjust our breathing, our eyesight, our diet. The one thing I missed most was the pleasure I would derive from a simple drive in the country or from eating an exotic dish of food. Sure, survival has always been the constant, yet enjoyment also played a big role, giving everything some kind of purpose. Our current struggle was payback for our misdeeds, yet we continued to survive. Why, God only knows. One of the many mysteries, I guess. I drove looking for some way out, realizing soon enough the futility of my actions. I had to accept things as they were. I always felt a connection to the land, to the elements. My long drives had for a long time been tinged with sadness as I remembered how things had been, had witnessed the change to what we had on this day. We created this legacy for our future generations with all of the pride and greed that we could muster. Erected these towers as monuments to our success. Made the deals, signed the 
checks, patted our backs, and lifted our glasses to toast the new age, our glorious undertaking. Then the day came, like some kind of strange dream. There was a large explosion on the sun, and the planet was reborn. We were all still. Here, of course, but everything had transformed into what was. The beauty had returned, paradise had returned from its long slumber. As if it had never left, and we were being given a reprieve.